What a week it's been. The inaugural Maritime Robotex Challenge has brought the best of five nations together and put their autonomous boats to the test under the extreme real world conditions of the most tropical weather Singapore had to offer. Sensors were saturated, systems were soaked, and circuits were sizzled. Yet the students bravely strove on. Undaunted by adversity and improvising when necessary, 15 tireless teams tried and tried again, tuning their controllers and tweaking their algorithms to maximise those elusive points towards one goal, a single 20-minute shot at glory in the finals. There could be only six. After one last morning practice, the course was reconfigured and the final showdown began. Here's how it all went down. Team QUT raced through the starting gates, reported the correct colour for the pinger task and made a solid attempt at the dock. But the narrow floating platforms proved unhelpful, forcing the boat into a wedged position that even an experienced driver would have trouble escaping. The team called their run with seven minutes left on the clock to secure their points. KAIS has been a strong team here at the competition and attempted all the five obstacles on their final run. With six minutes left on the clock, the South Koreans decided to use that one and only run. Today was definitely not a good reflection of their full capabilities, but it was still a very good attempt on the overall, sailing through gates and the final obstacle course. Osaka University showed their bravery by attaching their hydrophone array and attempting the underwater search task for the first time in the competition in their finals run. But the mercurial climate didn't make it easy for them, whipping up the strongest wind we'd seen all week. It took all their boat's efforts to counteract the drift, taking them through the gates and into the pinga area. The short 20 minutes meant high pressure to make decisions quickly. For Team Minion of Emory Riddle, various unexpected events such as getting caught in the lighthouse buoy forced a restart. Thankfully, Emory Riddle has one of the fastest boats around and was able to attempt a total of four runs. In a spirit of no guts, no glory, their last attempt was spent heading straight to the obstacle course, cruising through the start gate just as time ran out. The joint MIT Olin boat took off through the navigation task with gusto and went straight for the pinger but their automatic listening position optimizer sent the boat into an embrace with the light buoy task that caught its pontoon on a rope. Playing safe with the time remaining, they restarted, reported the correct pinger and made it through the obstacle course with only one buoy touch. Team Sharky from National University of Singapore succeeded at task one three times, reported a pinger location but then repeatedly got lost when looking for the docks. Eventually, they ran out of time and didn't have a chance to fix their navigation issues. It must have been frustrating for them, but their first placing in qualifying rounds is testament to their strong abilities. As the searing Singapore sun sets on Maritime Robotics Challenge 2014, it's a time to reflect on what it has meant for those involved. It's been a chance to learn intense lessons while pushing the boundaries of maritime autonomy. It's been an opportunity for passionate individuals to compete while at the same time helping one another in the spirit of sharing and cooperation. And it's been a rare occasion for the next generation of maritime technologists to cross borders and work shoulder to shoulder on the future of seafaring. What you saw this week was a true triumph over adversity, but it doesn't end here. It's plain to see that the participants are looking forward to their future research using these platforms, to strengthening the newly forged bonds between one another and to meeting the next challenge in 2016. From all of us here at RoboNation, we'll see you next time.